Quantum Mechanics by Maple. Part 15. Mathematical Tools in Quantum Mechanics. Partial Differential Equations, Symbolic Computation. Quantum Mechanics by Maple, is a complete course, contains 38 videos for beginners. During this course, student will be able to use Maple, step by step in Quantum Mechanics. The first 10 videos of Quantum Mechanics by Maple, introduce and discuss, computations and the types of computations including, symbolic, and numeric computations. Moreover, they discuss, how to reduce the errors, and restricting the domain, for performing computations in the real number system. From the 11th video of this series, we will introduce and discuss, mathematical tools in quantum mechanics, with performing computations for them. The 11th video of quantum mechanics by Maple discusses, equations in physics, and solving equations, by Maple. The twelfth video of this series discusses, in equations in physics, and solving in equations, by Maple. The thirteenth video of quantum mechanics by Maple discusses, ordinary differential equations in physics, and solving this type of equations, by Maple. The fourteenth video of this series discusses, ordinary differential equations with boundary value conditions, and solving this type of equation, by Maple. This video is the 15th video of quantum mechanics by Maple, and discusses, partial differential equations. Moreover, in this video we are going to solve, partial differential equations symbolically, by Maple. There are two essential reasons that show us, why partial differential equations are very important in science and specially in physics. Let's classify these two essential reasons as follows. 1. Ontological reason. 2. Epistemological reason. Now, we are going to explain, these reasons. 1. Ontological reason. Ontological reason is based on the structure of our universe. In order to explain ontological reason, we should emphasize that our universe contains three parts. 1. Micro part. 2. Meso part. 3. Macro part. In micro part of our universe, there are the structures like has, electrons, and quarks. In meso part of our universe, there are the structures like has, our bodies, and of buildings. In macro part of our universe, there are the structures like has, stars, and galaxies. In order to study these three parts of our universe, there are three fundamental theories in physics, and they are as follows. 1. The first theory is called, quantum theory. Quantum theory studies, the micro part of our universe. 2. The second theory is called, Classical Physics Theory. Classical Physics Theory studies, the meso part of our universe. 3. The third theory is called, Theory of Relativity. Theory of Relativity studies, the macro part of our universe. Moreover, in the heart of each mentioned theories, there is an essential, and fundamental equation. In the micro part of our universe, and in the heart of quantum theory, there is Schrodinger equation. In the meso part of our universe, and in the heart of classical physics theory, there is Euler, Lagrange, equation. In the macro part of our universe, and in the heart of theory of relativity, there is Einstein field equation.
as it is obviously clear, each mentioned equation, is a partial differential equation. So, according to the ontological reason, that is why partial differential equations, are very important in science, and especially in physics. 2. Epistemological reason. Epistemological reason, is based on the structure of our thought. A dynamic thought, is linked to dialectical method. As it expressed earlier, in 14th video of this series, according to dialectics, in our universe. 1. Nothing is complete and perfect. 2. Nothing is absolute. The terms complete and perfect denote, whatever is free from transformation, motion, and change. The term absolute denotes, whatever is free from any connection, interaction, condition, limitation, constriction or restriction, and independent from, any other element, or factor. The first dialectical expression denotes that, in the world nothing remains constant. Everything is in a perpetual state of transformation, motion, and change. Motion is the mode of existence of matter. To be means, to be in motion. The world is integrating and disintegrating. It never attains, ultimate perfection. As it expressed earlier in 13th video of this series, in order to express the perpetual state of transformation, motion, and change, science uses, a special type of equation. This special type of equations that expresses the perpetual state of transformation, motion, and change, in science and particularly in physics, is called differential equations. The second dialectical expression denotes that, in the world nothing stands by itself. Everything in the world is connected with all the other things. There is an infinite web of connections, from the smallest structures, like as neutrinos, to largest structures, such as superclusters of galaxies. An endless chain connects, everything with all the other things. This chain of the universe has never been broken, it unites all objects and processes in a single whole. This universal connection and interconnection of the elements, within the whole at any level, form an essential condition, constriction and restriction, for the dynamic balance of systems. As it expressed earlier in 14th video of this series, in order to express these connections and interactions of the elements, science uses a set of initial, or boundary value conditions, and parameters. As differential equations express the perpetual state of transformation, motion, and change, a set of initial, or boundary value conditions and parameters express, the connections and interactions of the elements. Therefore, differential equations with boundary conditions express, not only the perpetual state of transformation, motion, and change, but also connections, interactions, and essential conditions and restrictions, in science and particularly in physics. So, according to the epistemological reason, differential equations express, our dynamic universe, with all its motions, changes, connections and interactions. That's why according to epistemological reason, partial differential equations are very important in science and especially in physics. Maple has a powerful set of solvers for equations, in equations, ordinary differential equations, partial differential equations, and systems of ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations including initial value and boundary value problems. Partial differential equation systems, can contain, ordinary differential equations, and algebraic equations. As it expressed earlier, in the 11th and 12th videos of this series, in order to perform computation and solve equations and in equations by Maple, we used, solve command. Moreover, 
in the 13th and 14th videos of this series, in order to perform computation and solve ordinary differential equations and boundary value conditions by Maple, we used desolve command to solve partial differential equations and systems of partial differential equations, symbolically or numerically, we use the pdsolve command. Now, in order to perform computation, and solve partial differential equations by Maple, we are going to solve, the following example, symbolically. This example is a partial differential equation with boundary conditions, and we are going to solve it symbolically. This is the partial differential equation. And they are boundary value conditions. And for the partial differential equation, And for the first boundary value condition. And for the second boundary value condition. As it expressed earlier. In order to solve partial differential equations and systems of partial differential equations, symbolically, or numerically, we will use the pdsolve command. Now, we substitute the partial differential equation and the boundary value conditions, inside the brackets. Now, in order to perform computation, and solve this partial differential equations with boundary condition, symbolically, just click in DER. And, the answer is. So, we can see, how Maple can solves the partial differential equation with boundary value conditions, symbolically.